In this video, I would like to explain the concept of profit maximization both intuitively and on the graph. So let's start. Now, I will start with this. The point of profit maximization will happen when the marginal revenue is equal to the marginal cost. What does this mean? It means that at the very last unit of sale where we maximize our profit, the revenue that we get from selling that last unit must be equal to the cost of producing that last unit. Why is this the case? Imagine the following. I will try to reason this with an example. So if I go here and I have my marginal cost curve and my marginal revenue curve, let's consider this. Suppose we are producing at this level that I'm highlighting right now. So suppose we're producing at this level of quantity, okay? What happens over here? Check the marginal cost. This is our marginal cost right now. Whereas over here, we are having the marginal revenue. Marginal revenue, okay? Now, we can see visibly, right, that the marginal revenue is greater than the marginal cost. We are talking about profit maximization. That means we are making maximum profit, which means we cannot make it anymore. We cannot increase it anymore. So as a result, when we look at the difference between marginal revenue and marginal cost, can we say that what we're having at the moment is an additional profit, a marginal profit from that sale? I believe we can say so. So when the marginal revenue is still greater than the marginal cost, we are still making a positive, an additional profit on that unit. So that means we can still increase the profit even further because if we still make more revenue than cost, we are having profit left. So we can increase it further and further. So if I keep moving to my right, okay, from this level of quantity, from this level of quantity, let me call it Q1, and I move over here to the quantity of Q, all right, what happens on the purple and the blue curves? What happens to the marginal revenue and the marginal cost? The marginal revenue and the marginal costs are getting closer and closer to each other, such that we are getting to a point where the difference between them becomes zero, exactly at the point of intersection that I'm highlighting right now. Over here, we are satisfying the satisfying, I'm sorry, the property of marginal revenue equals to the marginal cost. Now consider the following, because the example is not over. What if we go beyond that? What if we want to see if profit will be even better? Well, if we go even one unit beyond that, okay, let's say we produce at this level. Check the marginal revenue now and check the marginal cost. Do you notice that the marginal cost point is above the marginal revenue point? So therefore, the cost of making that additional unit is higher than the revenue it, it provides us back with. As a result, we are losing money on the, additional on, the, on the additional unit sold. So selling beyond the point of marginal revenue equals to marginal cost leads us to having losses on those productions. So by definition, this means that profit can be maximized, meaning we can make profit on all the units until we get to the point where marginal revenue equals to the marginal cost. So every unit that was sold was profitable to us until this point. Any point beyond it leads to losses per every unit sold. So as a result, this is the most that we can do in terms of making profit. I hope this all makes sense. I appreciate you all watching. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe and we are done.